Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the game details and what we can learn about the gameplay from the gameplay reveal trailer. The minimap, vehicles, specialists, and weapon customization. Before we start, I would like to mention that I appreciate that I got the privilege to see the gameplay trailer privately a couple weeks ago, and massive thanks to AA for inviting me and another content creator for this amazing event. So here is my story. I started playing the Battlefield series with Battlefield 4 as my first Battlefield game, and it was so much fun. After the DICE made Battlefield games set in more historical settings such as Battlefield 1 and World War 1 and Battlefield 5 set in World War 2. I'm so surprised to see Battlefield 2042, this looks like Battlefield 4, but with a new coat of paint, a few new ties and massively better graphics and distractions. Let's gonna go on our topic today, the objective, how it works, or the minimap. The objective has been scaled up now and DICE has slightly changed the way the game is played. Compared to previous Battlefield games, especially they have added a number on the objective to capture. For example, A has been split into several objectives such as A1, A2, and A3. The objectives have been moved below the minimap, and if you are inside the objective area, you can actually see how many players that is on the objective or enemies. I think adding this one make it a little bit easier for everyone to understand the situation of the current objective. The squad icons are now on the right side of the minimap. With 4-man squad, the squad leader have a star icon below their name, and the squad mates with low health is shown clearly with a visible color above their character icons. I really like the details they put here with the specialist icon. Tickets have been put above the minimap. Overall, the hood is more clean and unique. Now we can clearly see which objective the player is in, such as A Stadium, C Arcway. It is shown with the objective graphics at the bottom of the map, and the zones are always clearly marked on the minimap. Let's gonna move into vehicles. We are shown some M1A5 gameplay, M1 Abrams with 120mm armor penetration round taking out a helicopter. The ammunition looks to be unlimited, but we don't know if that will be the case for when the game releases. It seems like the development is leaning towards BFR style vehicle gameplay. There is also some attack helicopter gameplay with the Apache Warship. It looks to have both regular rockets and laser lock rockets. We also get a clear show of the hood with indicated airspeed on the left and altitude to the right. We are also shown how the smoke screen looks in the game. LA TV4. We can see four spots. We can see both the driver perspective and the gunner perspective. The hood and the gunner seat to hood get a distance indication. Once the other vehicles blows up, we get to see the full potential of Battlefield 2042's animations. There looks to be a new transport vehicle, MV38 Condor. Now with bigger maps, it's necessary with different ways to move around it efficiently. And of course, we can see some classic BF4 gameplay with the ATV exploding, the humming bird. Just look again at the particle effects. It was so amazing to see these changes. Let's gonna move into specialist. Now we will have a closer look on how the assault class Mackay works. Mackay has a grappling hook that he can use to change position if you are in a bad spot for climbing and scaling parts of the map. His sliding is coming back again. After Mackay uses his grappling hook, he do a little sliding. Sliding is a feature that was first introduced in Battlefield 1, and I love to see it coming back in Battlefield 2042. Sundance has the C4. It looks like he also has a breaching charge as the design resembles that. Delta looks to have an armor shield in RPG, but we don't know. Probably something resembling an explosive, perhaps a smoke. Falk, the doctor, has the medic gun and can shoot teammates with it for revives. These two new specialists, Sundance and Delta, for sure we're gonna come soon. Let's gonna move to weapon customization. Once we enter the elevator, we are shown the weapon customization on the fly. We have three different scopes, Red Dead, Echo, Ironside. For the barrel, we have silencer and something that looks like a flash hider or a muzzle brake. For under barrel, we have two different grips. It looks like a stubby grip and ergo grip. For magazine, we have different magazine size standard, extended, and drum, and the player switch to a drum mag. Because we can change the weapon customization on the fly, we don't have to spend too much time in the spawn screen for that. 
after exiting to the elevator, we can see the standing view of the sandstorm. And the new melee animation, we can see also the zipline animation and you can shoot the gun while in it. I think some specialists have the ability to use the skydiving jumpsuit. Sundance can use it and Makai having only a normal parasite as we can see here. I hope you enjoy the details I shared to all of you. Anyways, if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like and help me get the 5000 subscriber goal on the end of this year. And lastly, I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one.